At Bryant Bank, we focus on you. You'll never have to worry about being just another number in the system. When you're a member of the Bryant Bank family, our Bryant Bankers will work to understand who you are, where you want to go, and how we can help you to get there. We're big believers in developing relationships with our customers, and we value friendships we make along the way. Bryant Bank provides unbeatable service and legendary results. Bryant Bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. All right, back here at Frank Nick Stadium here on the campus of Shades Valley High School. Shades Valley driving again and quickly doing so with their hurry up no huddle offense. This is Louie. He's going to drop the throw this time. He's going to swing it out. Nice move that time. Number 24. Anthony Conwell made a pretty ridiculous move on the Husky defender and takes it down Conway to the three. They're going to sweep to Mixon. He's going to make it to about the goal line, but not get in. Mixon on the carry, he takes it down to the just inside the one. He's going to bring up second and goal. It'll be a great time for uh, Chris Dixon to pop up the middle and cause some havoc in the backfield right here. Right and to Mixon, and Mixon he's going to stroll in. So Mixon takes it in for the score. So Mark, that uh, was a little too easy for the Mounties. Yes, it was. Too easy and too fast. The extra point up and good. And so the Mounties lead with 11 minutes, two seconds left to go in the half, 14-7. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is Husky Television. Amorex is a proud sponsor of the Hewitt Trustful Huskies. This car will kick off for Shades Valley. Back to return. Palmer and Volts back in for the Huskies. And number 22, Palmer. This time another squib kick. Palmer will field the ground ball at about the 10. He'll take it up the He's middle. Palmer's right got a little room. He'll Palmer cross the 30. the 30. Where he meets number 52, Patty. 52 for the Mountie. Mounties that time makes the tackle. The Husky ball at the 33 yard line. Travis Patton. So Bailey will fake the throw. He's Fake the give back to throw. He's going up high and he's oh, wow. overthrown his man. Logan McAlpin had, had him beat by about two or three yards. That pass was intended for number 86. Just not, not quite enough air under that ball. Busted this is play. a busted play. Bailey is going to take it for positive yardage, however. That's number seven. He'll cross that snap, that snap came a little quicker, quicker than Blake was expecting to get to him. The 35 to the 37 yard line. From the pistol, Bailey's just going to fake the give here, throw over the middle. Oh, he had a man again wide open. That pass was intended for number four. Riley Stokes. Stokes. Had a good five yard jump on the defense. Ball is incomplete. Well, had bring up fourth down and six for the Huskies. Nothing but real estate in front of him, and Bailey missed him. And I want to take this time to thank the St. James United Methodist Church. So the Huskies will be forced to punt it away. Sponsoring the pregame meal for our players today. Riley Stokes in punt thank formation. You. Mixon will go back deep for Shades Valley, along with Cornwell. Conwell, I'm sorry. And he'll just punt it away from him here, low line driver. And it'll roll out of bounds yeah, at the roll bounds at the Mountie 40-yard line. About a 23-yard punt there for uh, down Mountie. The Huskies need a stop desperately on this play, on this series. We got out of Louis back to throw again, and they got everybody covered up. Louis is going to try to ad lib. He's going to throw down the field, and the ball is complete. Looks like he's standing out of bounds, but. That pass is incomplete, intended for number four, Brown. I will say incomplete. Brown was out of bounds when he caught it. Second down. So it brings up second down and 10, and nice coverage that time yeah, by the Husky defense. Tiffany Bailey 
A little slow getting the play in this time. Alexia Coleman. Let's hear it this may be one of those situations like, like Auburn and Ole Miss. You got to get a first down before you can really go hurry up, and they're going to give inside. Number That's 16. 16. That's Boykin on the Boykin game. again. He'll have his first down. To about the 47 yard line. That's good enough for Mountie's first down. First and 10 here for the Mounties as they cross midfield again. And they'll give to Boykin. He's going to take it inside off tackle. Oh, nice play there. Boykin on the carry. 35 for the Huskies. The Carson inside Foster. 45 to the 44 yard line. Knocks him a, down at the 44, and he had some real safety. He had safe a big run. hole. He yeah. sure did. Carson Foster luckily got those shoes. Three yard gain on the play. Second down. And this time Mixon will come back into the backfield with Louie, and they'll go in a pistol formation. They'll give to Mixon. He's got very little room to run, but he waits for his blocking, and he's gone. Oh, yep, gone. Mixon touchdown, will take it right up the middle Mountie, and score. Mountie, Mixon thought on the -yard for thought for a second Caleb Mixon Riggs was going to have his jersey, but he couldn't grab him. Mounties run out to a 20 to 7 lead here. This car will attempt it. And Mark, I'm pretty impressed so far with this Mountie offense. And, and Zach, that we talked about mixing in the pregame, and that right there, he had no hole and waited for it to open up, and that's why he averaged over 16 yards a touch. Your score, Mountie 21, Husky 7. So, the Mounties lead at 21-7 with 8.46 left to go in the first half. We'll take a break. We'll be back. This is Husky Television. Palmer and Volts walk up again to about the 15-yard line. We'll see what he does here. This time he'll boom it deep. Volts will take it at about the five. Volts Big has got an alley, but chooses the wrong hole. He's knocked Volts down at the 23. And number 28, Quentin Thomas on the tackle for the Mountie. Volts had a lane to his right, and he chose to go left where he met two or three unblocked Mounties. So the Huskies will set up shop at about their own 23-yard line. Bailey's going to give inside to Palmer. Palmer He's going to lose a couple. Carry, and Duran, I bring the pain on the tackle. That play will lose two yards, second down. So second and 13 for the Huskies here. And they'll bunch the formation. This Zach is Thomas. Got, got Thomas has got a lot of room in front. He's going to turn the corner. Bro! Nice run by Zach Thomas. 14 Thomas on the quarterback keeper. He takes it across the 42, about the 45 yard line. That's a nice ad lib by yes, Thomas at a very needed time for the Huskies. That's number six, Barry Anderson on the tackle for the Mounties. Play results in a first down for the Huskies. All right, so Thomas will stay in the game here for the Huskies, and he's back to throw again. Looking downfield, nowhere to, th nowhere to go. And now he's going to try to roll out and throw it. He's going to try to hit his man incomplete. Pass intended for number four. Ball's incomplete. Buka and wide pursuit of Thomas. Trying to hit Riley Stokes on that play, but he was a long way down the field. Second down and 10 for the Huskies. Mounties only rushed three on that play. And really, he had a lot of time to throw, but just couldn't find anybody open. One thing with Zach running in the backfield like that, number 94, the big lineman for Valley just came out and gassed. Yeah, he's gassed. This time they're going to swing it out Devin to Reed. Devin Reed, who's going to try to get the corner, and he will not. Fake, looked like a face pass mask. Complete. That pass was complete to number 30, Darren Reed. 
So Reed's going to lose Number five yards. Reed on the tackle for the Mountie. So big third down play coming up here for the Huskies. Stokes and Kelly to the bottom of the screen here in a bunch formation. Thomas back to throw. He's going to step up again. We're going to sling it yes, this time, pass. and it's caught by McAlpin. McAlpin. He's going to cross the 40, 35, 30. McAlpin makes a move, and he's down to the 21-yard line. Complete to number 86, McAlpine. Great scramble by uh, Zach Thomas. Keep the play alive and find Logan downfield. The play results in a first down. Husky ball at the Mountie 20-yard line. Six minutes, 31 seconds left to go in the second quarter. No backs now. Thomas is all by himself. He drops to throw, looks to throw. Now he's going to try to tuck and run. Going to make a spin move. He's going to get inside the 20, 15, 10. He's gotta, close to a first down. Got a down on about the three yard line, line three or four yard line. No, that's just, that's, that's, a, that's, that's, that's not a spot 20, on the field. No, yeah, that's not a flag. Four, I saw that earlier. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> so Zach Thomas. 20, 25, 26, 25. Now there's an injured player down for Shades Valley. We'll take a break. Huskies knocking on the door as they trail 21-7 with 5.51 left to go in the first half. This is Husky Television. Faith Community Fellowship is a proud sponsor of the Hewitt Trustful Huskies. The Huskies will have a first down and goal here. They did give Thomas the first down. So we'll see what the Huskies dial up now with first down. And they can't make a first down here. They're going to have to score. And that nose of the ball is right on the 10, a little bit across. Going to give to Palmer on a counter play. Palmer's going to take it down to about the Palmer nine the carry, it and get no more. To the nine yard line, one yard gain on the play. So give him a yard, and I'd like to see a roll out here with Zach Thomas with the success he's had getting out in the open field. Not only running, but ad libbing and finding a man downfield when it breaks down. He'll send more in motion. Moore's going to try to get the corner, and he won't. Doesn't look like he's going to get anything. More. No gain on that play, and it's third and goal now from the nine. Right, number 15. They'll send more in motion. Back to throw again. He's going to throw to Riley Stokes. The back off the hands, that incomplete. Pass for number four, Stokes, incomplete. Pretty, good, pretty good pass by Zach Huskies. right there. Riley just couldn't reach up quite high enough to grab it. Well, really about as good as you can throw it and not get a touchdown. The field goal, excuse me. It's up, it. and it looks like he hooked it in. Nope, no, say no good. Not sure, not sure how he missed that one. We got a bad Turn angle up here, but down, it sure did look good. Football. I thought he got it in there, but it, like you said, tough angle. And just couldn't get it around there. So. After a nice drive, the Huskies come up with no points, and they send Shades Valley's offense back out to start from their own 20-yard line. And if the Huskies want to stay in this game, Mark, they have to come up with a stop right here. That's one thing that broke our back in the Clay Chalk Bowl game, right there, right before half scoring, and then giving up that touchdown to them with under a minute to go. Louie's going to swing it out here to Mixon, who's got lots of real estate in front of him. He's going to go out of bounds at about the 30. Takes it out to the 30 yard line. That's enough for Mounties first down. So the Mounties pick up a quick 10 yards as Mixon had a big cushion. And once again, he'll have a big cushion. This time they're going to give in the backfield. And they're going to knock him backwards. Nice Buchanan play by the Husky carry. defense. Buchanan was the carrier. And the two or three Huskies on that stop. Like Hunter, Reed, Hunter, Hunter Reed 
Carson Foster and Austin Weiser. Yeah, they defense. strung that out really By well. Number 99. So that'll back them up Weiser about four yards. On the tackle for the Huskies. Shades Valley taking their time here. Down to about 10 on the play clock. He's looking. They got Mixon covered up. They're going to sling it out, and it's incomplete off the hands again. Number, number 17, Walker Robert Walker. And if one of these tip balls can just head in the third direction of a guy in white, we'll be in business, Mark. We will be. And good place to have here, third and long, because so far four possessions for Shades Valley and three touchdowns in the first half. Well, third and 14 here. The Huskies have had them in third and long a couple of times. Be rewarded. That's all fans. Contact your local Allstate agent, John Sadler, at 205. Back to throws Louie. He's going to fire right over the middle, and that ball hit the You're ground. Good hands with Allstate. They'll call it incomplete. That pass was intended for number 24. So the Mounties are going to have to punt this ball away. So the Huskies have a chance. Not only a stop, but a quick stop. So, like you said, we've got a chance to get the ball back with over three minutes to go. Huskies in almost a punt safe here. Rig back deep. Nice high punt. Rig's going to fair catch it at the 42-yard line. So the Huskies, Back hit call. after a nice defensive Number stand, three, Rig. have an opportunity here to put in a put up some line. more points here before the half. Thomas, a pretty big athletic young man for a 10th grader. And he's back to throw again. He's going to sling it up. And that ball's intercepted, intended for Riley Stokes. Carter, Carter on the interception for the Mounties. Takes it down to well, the Husky 39 yard line. Looked like. He just kind of threw that one up for grabs. Tried to throw a jump ball up to Stokes, but he didn't throw it out far enough. Now the Mounties have it inside Husky territory at the 39. Exactly what we did not need yeah. to happen. Louie back to throw. He's going to sling it. This ball's tipped up and intercepted. Intercepted by the Huskies. <laughs> Hunter Songer, number 98, comes up with the interception. Intercepted by number 98. Hunter Songer. The ball was deflected by number 47, Hunter Reed. Songer came down with it in his hand, so the Huskies get another chance here. Almost right where we started last drive, Zach. So we'll just chalk that interception up to a mulligan, and we'll start again from our own 42-yard line. So back-to-back -back turnovers. And we kept hoping a deflected ball would wind up in the hands of a Husky, and it did. And now Bailey will come back into the game at quarterback. Bailey back to throw here. He's going to swing it out wide to Palmer. He's going to make a man miss. Palmer up the middle. He's going to get to about the 47-yard line before Patterson brings him down. Palmer. So second down now in about five. Huskies up at the line of scrimmage. So now 10 seconds on the play clock, and Bailey's got to hurry it up the, a little bit. Send a man in motion. Going to fake the swing play, and now we're going to get a penalty again, a motion penalty again penalty on the Huskies. On the play. Ball start, Huskies. That's going to cost them five yards. Zach had to wipe out the five we got on first down, so now Zero, we're back second to second. Down. And, well, second and nine. We'll call it second and nine. And they'll send Zach Thomas back in. And we'll see what Thomas can do. Play clock down to about five here. They're going to send Thomas a on the quarterback team blitzer he in. By number 26, Khalil Melton. They're bringing pressure. Bailey's going to try to take off and run. He's going to throw incomplete, too tall for his intended that receiver. That was Palmer. Intended for number 22, Palmer. Number eight. 
Number eight, Gordon. So the Huskies will be forced to punt this one away with one minute and 31 seconds left to go in the first half. And he's going to kick this ball away, and it's going to roll dead here at about the 34-yard line. Ball is down at the 34-yard line. Where the Mounties will take over, and we'll take a quick break. Huskies trail Shades Valley 21-7 with a minute 31. Sorry, a minute 22 left to go in the first half. Massey Stotzer Law Firm is a proud sponsor of the Hewitt Trustful Huskies. Visit us on the web today to find out more about us at Massey Stotzer Law Firm. All right, back here at Frank Nick's Athletic Complex at Shades Valley. Louie's going to swing it out. Nice catch made. It's number 17 for Shades Valley. Pass completes to Jordan Walker. He takes it across the That's 50 Walker. to the 48-yard line. Walker's into Husky First territory. Down, Looks like number eight, Depew, pushed him out of bounds. And the clock now stopped as he, as he did get out of bounds. Louie back to throw. And he's looking deep, nobody to throw to, but he's got a man wide open in the flat. That's his running back. That's number 16. Pass completes to Boykin. He takes it Boykin. inside the 35 to the 34. Knocked down by number 35 for the Huskies, Carson Foster. Line. That's another Mountie first down. One minute, three seconds left to go in the half. So they'll stop the clock to move the chains and wind it again here. Under a minute. Swing it out to Mixon, and he's going to make the corner. Got a hold on the outside, not called. Pass completes to Mixon. He takes it inside. Inside the 15 to the 12. Jarrett Nelson looked like he was being held. No call. And Mixon was going in for the touchdown and stepped out of bounds. 49 seconds left to go in the half. 49 seconds left to go. And the Huskies need a turnover here. They'll give to inside. Whoa. Nice mask. Touchdown! Number 16. Boykin takes it in. Boykin on the 12 yard stand before the score. 43 seconds left to go. Mountie 27, Husky 7. There's a flag down, Andy. but I think that's on Luke Riddle. Luke Riddle, he reached out to grab something and all he could find was the face mask. Extra point is up and good. Five work extra point is good. With 43 seconds Mountie left to go in the half. Mounties have run out to a 28 to 7 lead. We'll be back. This is Husky Television. Courtesy Buick GMC is a proud sponsor of the Hewitt Trustful Huskies. Coming today to see the finest selection of Pontiacs, Buicks, and GMCs. So Volts and Palmer back deep. I'll be surprised if this ball doesn't get right through the end zone. It's a line drive and a, almost an extra point. And that ball's going to go out of the end zone for a touchback. Husky football at the 20 yard line. So the Huskies will start from their own 20. Very impressive Husky uh, about the first five minutes of the game and came up with that first stop on them. And after that, uh, only able to get up one other stop and then the interception, and they've scored on every other drive. And scored quickly, we might add. This is Bailey in the backfield. He'll give inside. That's Peyton Palmer. He'll have maybe a yard. Palmer on the carry, takes it across the 20 to about the 22 yard line. It's very reminiscent of the first two games against Vestavia and play where we put together some drives but just couldn't cash in on the scoreboard. This is Palmer. He's going to get up around a have a first down here at the 32 yard line. That's Palmer takes it across the 30 to the 34. That's going to be the last play of the half, folks. Your That's going to end the half. Huskies have an injured player Husky down on the field. Seven. So we'll we'll take a break. We'll be back with the Husky band in just a few moments. Huskies trail. 
Complete Cleaners has been serving the Trustville area with high quality dry cleaning and laundry services since 1994. Our company offers the very best care for your casual and special garments with fast one day service and a convenient drive through. In 2001, Complete Cleaners became Alabama's first green earth cleaning licensee. This special patented process cleans your garments without the use of any hazardous chemicals. Complete Cleaners received national recognition for our leadership in dry cleaning that protects the environment, our employees, and you, while making your garments look and smell fresh. Stop by to see and smell the difference at both of our trustful locations on Highway 11, near Tutwiler Farms, and the Carrington subdivisions. Complete Cleaners. 